So this video is for some um, someone requested this video. They wanted to know, they wanted to know how I started teaching in China. Uh, basically, <laughs> I applied. So I applied to teach in China, pretty much. Um, why? Because my spouse at the time, not my spouse anymore. Oh, about to not be my spouse anymore. Okay, so he was coming to China and I came across as well to teach and he was studying. So I didn't know anyone, so I reached out to... Wait, who did I reach out to? Apparently there was a group of Trinidadians in China. They put me onto a recruiter. One of them put me onto a recruiter in China who was helping prisons come over to China to teach. So at first, before I did that, I was just like setting up my resume like crazy. Um, to different websites like Dave's ESL and some other eChinacities.com, some different websites, and I was hoping, I was just hoping, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I get a job. But then when they replied to me, they were like, oh well, you're not from the UK, US, Canada, Australia, South Africa, so basically we can't hire you. But that's not true. If you're a native English speaker, those are not the only countries that are native English speaking countries. Trinidad is also on that list and a host of other countries, but they had not ever heard of Trinidad before. So I kind of was not getting good offers. So eventually when I did get into contact with another Trinidadian who was working in China, she put me on to a recruiter and that's how I was able to find a job to um, pretty much within a week of interviewing with them, I got the job. Now. I thought that was the only job I can teach. I thought I could only teach English, but apparently you can teach almost anything. So that kind of brings me to the other question, like uh, what certifications you need. Now, if you're going to teach English, you need a TEFL, T-E-F-L, uh, teaching English to, to speakers of a foreign language. That's if you're going to teach English. You're going to need that. Now, if you're going to teach anything else, other than, I mean, I tell you, you could teach anything else. I have friends who are teaching biology, chemistry, economics, drama, PE, art, anything. You really could, I mean, I'll go into that. I mean, I think I talked about it already. The benefits of living in China is ridiculously huge. Anything related to your degree, you can teach that. Any subject that's related to your degree, you can teach that. And there are tons of jobs in China all the time. I've been trying to encourage people to come over because the opportunities are almost endless when you get over here. If you're gonna teach English, you're gonna need a TEFL certificate or T-E-S-O-L as well, or T-E-F-L, and you're going to need um, a degree. Any degree if you're just gonna teach English. But then if you're gonna teach a subject related to your degree, you don't necessarily need the TEFL, but I still suggest that you get it done just in case. And then make sure you have your degree and you can come over and teach. And you also need at least two years teaching experience. You can come over to China and teach. There are people who have gotten into contact with me and within a few months, three, four months, they are in China. They went from not having a job, broke, to live in their best life in China. So, I mean, I mean, living their best life. I suggest if you're really interested or you're really serious about it, I suggest you consider it. Look, look for opportunities on online if you want to re find a recruiter as well. Uh, I can put you onto some if you're really serious about it. And hopefully you will be in China too. And maybe we'll meet someday. Meh. All right. I hope that answers your question. Ciao.